Obviously, again, um, you know, we, 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 we got to stop when we needed to stop. And if you sit back and you just evaluate it and look at it, and I'll just tell you guys what I told the kids at the end of the day is, uh, you know, we, we're in a position to hopefully kick a field goal. We can't get enough yards to be able to kick a field goal. 47-yard uh, field goal, that's, that's not us. That's not uh, what we're about, so we uh, decided to run a fake field goal. It's a 10-yard trade-off, basically, on the if we kick it in the end zone or get a great stop, come back, stop them on defense, uh, you know, get the ball back. Couldn't get the first down at that point, and then from there we couldn't uh, obviously stop them when we had to stop them at the end. So that's not one phase. It's not one group. Uh, it's uh, you know we couldn't execute when we absolutely had to have it at the end. Uh, I'm very proud of these kids. I think they get better every week. Uh, I, I truly believe that. I think their their minds are right. Uh, their minds will stay right. There's a lot of care in that locker room. Uh, there's a lot of belief in that locker room. There's a lot of life lessons that are being learned in that locker room. Uh, but I am. Uh, I love being their coach, and I love being part of them. And this is as hard of a stretch as I've ever been through as a as a uh, position coach, a player, a whatever head coach. Very difficult, but uh, we are where we are. It is what it is, and uh, we need to continue to move on and, and fight. First half, I think we did a good job. Second half, we did not. Um, you know, defense needs to make some plays. You know, obviously a heartbreaking loss, another one. Um, you just got to find a way to win these games, these type of games, you know. Uh, we get teams on the ropes. We play good, you know, for three and a half quarters, and then uh, some reason we just can't make plays at the end. So uh, 
you know, credit goes to BYU for playing a good game. And, uh, you know, they won and they earned it. Riley did a nice job. He came in and, and, and made some plays with his, with his feet. Um, it's, it's very different defending him. Uh, bottom line, it's uh, the QB run game, uh, the opportunity to not be able to create the matchups that you want in the throw game uh, are basically gone out the window when that happens because you can't empty the box in the run game. And we basically emptied the box the whole run game and, uh, the, excuse me, the whole game. And uh, we're down a man in the box to be able to try to double cover and play some bracket and man under coverages and try to get some double teams with still safeties over the top of them. And uh, we had to change that. We did change it. You know, we got to change back on the last drive and put ourselves in position to, you know, we to make, Called the blitz and the kids did a nice job putting their hat on the ball and knocked it out. So uh, you know he he did a nice job and obviously tonight they were a better they were a better football team when he was a quarterback I guess. It wasn't hard. We just got to make plays. You know we know what type of person he is. We know what type of quarterback he is. We just got to make plays. Well, here here's what I what I truly believe right now is this is Utah State's in a position to to not have an opportunity to ever get overlooked right now. We're going to get everybody's best shot. Um, everybody knows where we're playing, how physical we're going to be, and uh, I think we bring a, you know, a quality opponent to our opponents, if you will. Um, so I think that the, we're going to get everybody's best shot, and that's a that's a credit to the young men in the program. And but how do you get to that next step, boy? I, you know what? I'd, I'd I'd give a lot. I don't know. I don't know what I'd give to be able to have that magic recipe and, and put these kids in that position because it's uh, it's it's hard to it's hard to watch it's hard to see those faces in that locker room again and again and again. You know, I wouldn't say it's physical. You know, I, I think, but I wouldn't say it's psychological either. I just, you know, I, we just don't make the plays when they're there. You know, we just don't make the plays. Coach Coach Anderson hit it on right after the game when we came up as a team. You know, we get a big play a fumble recovery, and then, you know, we can't get a first down. And that's on me. And then uh, we come back, uh, get the ball, put them at the four-yard line or wherever it's at, and, uh, you know, get one play where we got the quarterback scrambling all around. He kind of throws a, you know, a prayer, and uh, they make the catch. Great play by the receiver, but we don't make the play again, you know, some for some reason. Um, we just don't make the plays. We're one and three. Everything that this football team really set out for at the first of the year uh, is still there for them. You know, we never one time came out and said we're going to be national champions. Okay, we've we've never made that statement. Um, our 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 job is to continue to fight and, and do what we think is uh, right as a staff. But these kids, I, I I like their eyes, Tony. I, I mean, I I just left the locker room. There's not many dry eyes, but I like their eyes when I walked out of there. I believe they'll come back on. Sunday for study hall at 4 o'clock and 6 o'clock, and they'll do a nice job. And they'll walk in there at 6 o'clock in the morning on Monday, and we'll be prepared to, to, uh, to fight again. And um, it's hard. It's hard. It's hard for everybody. It's hard, hard for everybody to stick with you, and it's hard for the kids. So hopefully we can get it done. You got no choice. You got no choice. Football season is you have 12 regular season games. So you have no choice. I mean, you, you can't, uh, you cannot throw in the towel. We haven't started league games yet, um, so there's still an opportunity for us to win the WAC. There's still eight games on the schedule, so an opportunity for us to go 8-0 and for the rest of the season, get ourselves in, the, in, you know, in a championship bowl game and win it. You know, still, still very many opportunities left out there, and that's what you got to look at. Okay, this is another close loss, another loss where we're up in the fourth quarter, the other team comes back and they beat us. Third time this season, you know. But there's still work left to do. We want to win we want to be WAC champs. There's still work left to do. So we have to come back Monday and be ready to work. We just have to, you know, watch film the same way. We have to do our extra work after practice the same way. Wyoming's a good team, but we can beat them. All we gotta do is get a win. That's all we gotta do. All we gotta do is get a win and start trying to flip that page, start trying to turn that page. If we can get a win, we get some momentum, it's a home game, guys' morals are up, okay? Then we go into Fresno State, a little bit more confidence, okay? That's all we gotta do. We gotta take it one game at a time. Can't throw in the towel, I'm not throwing in the towel. I work to be the best every single day, and so do other guys, and I will not quit ever. I love the game of football, this is what I do, 
I will not let my teammates ever quit because, because like I said, it's a long season. They look at, they look to me as a leader. A leader got to keep his chin up every single day. They're all the good, they're all the bad. Coach A says it all the time. When it's good, you stay right here. When it's bad, you stay right here. I'm pretty sure you guys heard him say that. And that's exactly how it is. Just got to keep playing.